In uh, 1965, a 17-year-old by the name of Randy Gardner decided that for his science fair project, he was going to set the world record for longest time spent without sleep. All he had to do to perform this feat was stay awake for 264.4 hours, which comes up to about 11 days and 24 minutes without any sleep. Um, he was able to accomplish this feat, but by the end of 11 days, he was um, a wreck, I guess is what you could say. He was experiencing Alzheimer's-like symptoms. He uh, was hallucinating. He was disoriented. He was beginning to lose motor function. And his speech was slurred. And he was a little tired, too. Um, it's interesting also that they don't keep world records for sleep anymore because they were concerned about people's health <laughs> trying to stay awake too long. So, well, most of us will probably never stay awake for 11 days, hopefully. Um, <laughs> sleep is a problem that I think we as college students admit that we all face. In fact, research done by Brown University shows that 73% of all college students face um, sleep problems. That's seven in 10 of every college students. Um, there's been a lot of research done on how sleep affects your brain, and that's been very helpful to me during my uh, preparation for this speech. Um, I'm gonna first discuss the negative effects that a lack of sleep has on your brain, and also um, what, a good night, what, what happens in your brain during a good night of sleep. But let's first start by uh, looking at how a lack of sleep negatively affects our brain. The uh, first, first way that a lack of sleep affects our brain is that it inhibits our ability to focus on detail and take in new information. According to the Harvard Business Review, if you, get, if you regularly get inadequate sleep, it builds up a sleep deficit, which um, if you sustain this, it will decrease your ability to uh, focus on, on uh, specific tasks and it also decrease your cognitive performance. Um, you, this, you can also see the, the effects of lack of sleep on the, in the number of motor vehicle crashes per year caused by um, people who are uh, drowsy while they're driving. In fact, 20, according to the Institute of Medicine, uh, there's an estimated 20% of all vehicle crashes are caused by a lack of sleep, which is um, about 1 million uh, car crashes per year caused by a lack of sleep. So it not only affects our ability to focus, it affects our ability to process information. While we're sleeping, our brains uh, consolidate uh, information that we take in during the day and turn it into memory during the night. Evidence shows that when we get a, when we have a lack of sleep, our academic performance drops considerably. Um, according to Dr. James Guest, the health center director at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln says that students who are getting an average of six hours or fewer um, have an average GPA of 2.6, while students who get an, uh, an adequate amount of sleep you know, from about nine hours of sleep have a, a GPA of approximately 3.2. So we can see that the effects of a lack of sleep are rather drastic. Um, so you might be thinking, what's the solution to a lack of sleep? Well, I guess that's a little bit of a duh because you need to sleep more. <laughs> um, but I'd like to talk about what uh, goes on during, in your brain while you're sleeping. Um, during the night, you will go through five different stages of sleep. Um, and about each, each cycle of five stages takes about one and a half hours. During the first stage of sleep, right up here, is when you're about to, when you're just dropping off into sleep. Um, stage two, your heart rate drops and your temperature also drops. Stage three is a kind of a transition into deeper sleep. 
stage four and five are the deepest um, amounts of sleep. And after you go into the really deep sleep, you gradually wake up and then go through the cycle about five more times during the night. Um, during stage four and five is when your brain does the most, um, during stage four and five is when your brain creates those solid memories and creates information that you can draw on, as I explained earlier. Also, um, taking short naps can also um, increase your brain's power. However, um, a nap should, should not replace nighttime sleep because generally when you take a short nap, you only go into stage two of sleep, which is not where your brain will be completely refreshed. But according to NASA research, a 26 minute nap can increase your brain's power by up to 34%. So as we've seen, we don't have to go for 11 days without sleep to experience the negative effects. Um, and the solution is relatively simple. Get a good night of sleep and your academic performance and hopefully your awareness of what's going on around you should increase. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms like grogginess, a lack of focus, or an inability to uh, recall information that you've learned, you may consider spending a little bit more time getting a good night of sleep. Thank you.